Hi everyone, thanks for joining today. Um, I'm going to show you today quickly how to take these e.l.f. templates. Um, the e.l.f. Uh, I have a variety of them available. And put in your subject so it looks like they are stuck in a jar, in a cookie jar, in a cup, or whatever it, template it is that you either purchase or that you make yourself. Um, sorry, didn't mean to show you that. Uh, so this is my store as you can see there's a couple of them in here and uh, it's JE Photography Design if you're interested. Um, these are all Canadian prices so Americans and any other ones that have better uh, better currency than us you get a bit of a deal. Uh, anyway so check it out if you'd like. Um, but I'm going to start with this. So this is my photo of my subject of the girl. Uh, I shot it on a white background. I didn't have the best lighting right then. Uh, I just did something really quick just to be able to do the example. Um, so I suggest shooting on a light background if your template has a, a light background like this. So that way you don't have any like green shadows or dark shadows or whatever. Um, so I do all my editing in Lightroom. So I've already edited quickly to what I wanted, um, color, uh, exposure, etc. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click down here and I'm going to click edit in and I want to edit in Photoshop and it'll bring it into my Photoshop. So my computer takes a little while so I already have it in. It'll come in again but I'll just ignore it. Anyway so this is the photo that has come in from Lightroom. It for some reason looks a little bit blurry, but I can promise you it's not blurry. Um, so what I'm going to start with here is I want to make sure that I have just her. I don't want the background or anything. So I'm going to see my little thing go around and around and around. I'm going to have to wait for the picture to come in. The joys of computers. So anyways, as I'm waiting, I will let you know, I'm going to go up to the selection tool up here and then I'm, I'm going to do this quickly. Um, when you do it, make sure you take your time, um, go zoom in if you need to, to go in between the fingers or in between the hair or something like that, um, just so your selection is nice and crisp and clean. But like I said, I'm going to do mine quickly for the video. and. Let me just see what's taking so long. It won't let me do anything. Oh, sorry guys. This, some days I really hate computers. Some days they're great. Some days they drive me absolutely crazy. Okay, finally it's coming in. Oh dear. Hopefully your computers aren't as slow as mine. Because if it is, you probably pull your hair out every time you edit. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, this one's a little bit more on the clear side. I'll work with this one. So I'm going to unlock it just because that's what I like to do. And I'm going to go up to my quick selection tool. I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on the plus And I use my left and right brackets to increase the size of my selection tool, my brush, whatever it is I'm using. So I'm just going to go around. All I'm doing is I'm clicking on her. Oh, it's going to start doing that. I'm going to just click on her. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I want to make sure I get this foot shadow down there. Obviously, I need to get her arms and her hands. There we go, all those. And I need to get fingers. And as you can see, when I'm pulling fingers, it's getting some of the backdrop. So we will go in and fix that. This is where you're going to take a little bit more time, go in and make sure all the hair comes in nicely, fingers aren't cut off, stuff like that. But like I said, I'm doing it quickly for the video. So I'm just going to make sure I have everything. Um, so I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, if it grabbed a big chunk that you don't want, you can just go up to the negative and erase or take away what you did. But I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Click on Select and Mask. In here, I want to make sure uh, down here is the most important new layer with layer mask. You can do move some of these around, smooth it, feather it to make it a nice clean selection. But 
for this example, I'm not doing that. So new layer with layer mask. And as you can see, it brings it into still the same file, but it brought a new layer and added the mask to it. So I'm selected, I'm on the mask, and I'm going to zoom in to 90%. And I'm going to take my brush, and I'm on black, and I'm at 100% opacity. Shrink my brush down. And I'm just going to start brushing away the part of the backdrop that I don't want in there. Again, please take your time when you do it. Don't rush like me. Just, I only have a selected amount of time for uh, these videos, so i got to do it quick. So I can fit everything in. So, we're just going to do that really quick. Uh, I'm going to do some of the hair. And also for hair, what I do sometimes is I bring the opacity down to maybe 35-40%. And I'm just not going to fully mask it off. I'm just going to do a little bit because behind her, it would be a shadow back there anyways. So I don't want it to be like this bright white template or bright white whatever it is coming through. I want it to still look like there's a bit of a shadow back there. That's just the way I do things. Everyone does things differently. So if you have a different way of doing it, by all means, you do it your way. You do you. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of this and this. And sorry, it's choppy. but um, And as you can see, her hair is a little bit wonky there. So I'm going to actually switch back to my white brush. I just press X and it switches it. So X will switch your colors down here. And if I do that, as you can see, I can just draw it right back on. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom out. And I want to make sure I'm clicked on the little girl, not on the mask. I want to be on the girl picture. I'm going to edit free transform her in this file. And you'll see why. It just makes life a lot easier. So I'm just going to shrink her down to, let's say, just there for now. Get my move tool. And as I'm still selected on her photo, I'm going to take it and I'm going to find the one I need to work on. I'm going to drop it right into the photo itself. So it's still a little bit big. Edit, free transform. I'm just going to shrink her down like this. like this. So her arm is sticking out a bit and her toes are off a little bit, but we're going to fix that right now. We're going to go back to the picture, the mask, with our paintbrush. We're going to go back to a black brush, and we're just going to brush that off right there. And so I mean, it looks a little bit weird, right? Because her toes are hanging out where you, the glass would curve. So what I normally do at this point is I go with like a 25-30% opacity. And I just kind of brush some of that away. So some of the skin color is still there. So you can get, you have an idea that her arm is still in the jar. But it starts to appear as if the, the glass is in front of her and she's behind it. So that's usually what I do for things like this. Because I still want a bit of color showing through. I don't want to delete it all together or, I mean, it's going to look a little bit weird. So, um, that's how I handle my, like that, anywhere where you have like a reflection coming through or something, just kind of bring the opacity down a bit. And next, I, control shift N, might be command shift N on a Mac, and I just get a new layer. And again, with really low opacity, really low opacity and a black brush, I am going to just throw in a bit of a shadow under her. And it's going on top of her, which I'll go in and fix in a second. So yeah, it's obviously a little bit dark, looks a little bit awkward, so I'm going to put on the layer I just did a mask and I'm going to leave it on black and I'm just going to mask off some of the stuff I just put on so I can blend it in a bit better. I don't want to mask off everything but I also don't want it as dark as it was and I don't want it so much on her legs. There. So again take your time when you're doing this. 
I did it quickly just for the video. Um, but pretty much that's everything I do for bringing these in. Now you can um, do, say for example, like on my cookie jar one, I had two kids available and I just took pictures of them. Uh, once it comes in, quick, quick, quick. Um, I put two kids in the jar. You could potentially fit three kids in there. Um, it's all a matter of your imagination. However you want to work it, however you want your picture to look. Um, I just highly recommend that you shoot on a light background if you're using these. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention is if you look very closely down here, you'll see a white line. Sometimes it's black, whatever. That's coming in from your, your photo itself with the mask. So all I do is I take my brush, make sure I'm at 100% flow and opacity, and I just get a big brush and I just go around making sure you don't mask off any of her or your subject, and I just try to erase anything that's there. Uh, also, these words, if you see it in the picture um, on the store, it is included. It's just a separate layer. You can turn it off and on. Um, if you don't want it, just remove it. And then you can also go in and add a text layer if you wanted, like this. And in your text layer, you can write, you know, from the crazy neighbors. Oh, I'm Canadian, so we have a U in neighbors. And, you know, something like that, right? You can make it, customize it to however you want. Um, that's obviously not included in the template. Uh, so, yeah, um, you can, if you wanted to, you can resize them. Just go to Canvas Resize and adjust there if you need to. But the templates that I saw, I make them in an 8x10 and a 5x7, which is perfect for printing for Christmas cards and whatnot. So, um, yeah, hopefully you have fun with these. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Um, check out the Facebook group if you um, aren't already on it. It's called In the Box Education. Um, as you can see, some of my templates are there. There's lots of great things. Right now is a huge... Uh, so many people are doing the cardboard boxes. It's a lot of fun. Um, I have different Santas available, more cardboard boxes. So it is a really great group for learning, uh, for tutorials, for sharing, for just, you know, having fun and, and kind of, you know, just enjoying photography itself. Um, anyway, so that's everything. Uh, I'm going to sign off now. Hopefully the video is helpful to you. And if you have any questions, let me know. And feel free to message me or ask in the group and uh, have fun and enjoy your day.